This video is sponsored by Factor. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I got a great one for you today. This Saturday, UFC 286 is going down. And of course, main event, the re-flipping match, Leon Edwards versus Kamara Usman. And the old question is, can Leon Edwards put that foot upside Usman's head one more game? We're gonna be breaking down Leon Edwards' striking ability right now. What up, everybody? Before we get into the video, a quick word for this video sponsor, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh and never frozen dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. Power up for springtime with America's number one ready to eat meal kit. Get nutritious chef approved meals delivered straight to your door leaving you time and energy to tackle everything on your to-do list. With 34 chef-prepared, dietitian-approved weekly options, there's always something new to try. Enjoy meals for any time of the day with breakfast options like egg bites, smoothies, and more. Plus, replenish your snack supply with an assortment of 45 add-ons. Get Factor and enjoy clean eating without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavored packed meals delivered straight to your door. Ready in just two minutes, no prep, no mess. Factor has so many nutrition options for keeping my fridge well stocked, like smoothies and juices, perfect for easy snacking. Factor is a go-to lunch or dinner solution when I am on the go from teaching to training. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code WONDERBOY50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Let's get into the video. Now, Leon Edwards has been in the game for a very long time and fought some of the who's who's in the welterweight division, except for myself. But anyway, he's fought some really, really good guys. Strikers, wrestlers, jujitsu practitioners. He's fought everybody and his bread and butter is his striking. Yes, he's like one of the only guys to ever take down Kamara Usman and hold him there in the first round, it was ridiculous. And then on top of that, later on in the round, to be able to put him to sleep. We're gonna be breaking down his striking ability. There's a few things that I look at when I'm trying to break somebody down. I look at footwork, timing, variety of techniques, and of course, distance management. Now, we're gonna start off with my man, Leon Edwards, footwork. What am I talking about when I'm talking about footwork? A few things that I look at. His ability to move forward, the skills to move backwards, to be able to switch sides, and then of course, the ability to move side to side. And let me tell you, Leon Edwards is one of the best out there. And it's like micro movements that he's making. He's not a crazy mover. He kind of likes to stay right out of his opponent's range to where he's able to kind of shuffle in, bop, 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 throw his three piece and a soda and get back out before his opponent can counter him. So his movement forward is pretty good. He shuffles in pretty quick. He stays in good position whenever he's doing so. So he'll shuffle in, pop, pop, hit him with the combination and get right back out, but he stays low. He really stays in good position for those wrestlers out there. Now his ability to move back, I have seen him kind of slide back to try and draw in his opponent to be able to land his left hand. So if his opponent's really aggressive, he'll keep that distance fairly well and he'll slide back. But I've also seen him walk backwards, so to speak. For instance, whenever he fought, uh, I think it was Donald Cerrone, he kind of backed up with his hands down, kind of shuffling his feet. But right when his opponent's in range to strike, he lowers himself back down and he's ready to fire once again. I think he does it maybe to get his opponent to move forward or maybe to take a breath to be able to get back in and go for those championship rounds, get that cardio back up. His ability to move side to side isn't as good as others out there. He likes to kind of stay in range and he moves forward, he slides back, but his side to side movement isn't quite there. I have seen him pull forward or blitz his opponent and kind of angle off, but he doesn't do it a whole lot. And then of course, his ability to switch sides. Well, it's kind of non-existent. He'll switch sides every now and then, but he'll immediately put that right side back forward because he wants to land that left hand. So predominantly, he'll keep that right side forward so he can throw his combinations. Footwork, 
I would give, let's say, I'm gonna give him an A and minus. It's still fairly high because he's a great striker, but his movement, I think, could be better, but it's good enough for my man Leon Edwards and what he does out there in the octagon. Moving on to timing. Now, when I'm talking about timing, I'm talking about the ability to be able to see your opponent make a mistake and capitalize on that mistake, or to be able to see the technique coming and counter at the same time. Leon Edwards' timing is impeccable. I'm gonna just go ahead and give him an A plus on timing right now. I mean, if he didn't have great timing, he would have never pulled off that amazing head kick his last fight, putting Usman down, becoming UFC welterweight champ champ. Well, one champ, not champ champ, but you know what I mean. His ability to be able to see his opponent is just awesome. To see that mistake and be able to capitalize on top of that, especially in close range. He's one that has some of the best elbows in the welterweight division in the UFC. He'll actually back up to get his opponent to come in. He'll meet him in the middle and loves to throw the, those elbows. He has his hands on him, so I think that's one of the reasons why he's able to have great timing because he does have his hands on his opponent and he can feel where his opponent is going. He's protected, but as soon as his partner tries to go for an underhook, tries to clinch up, he's firing off those elbows, especially his left el elbow. He did the same thing against Gunnar Nelson. He waited for Gunnar Nelson to Blitz forward, but he slid back just a little bit, but he knew it was coming. So his timing with that was just awesome. Slid back, hit him with that clinch. He had control of Gunnar Nelson's right arm, came over top. I think Gunnar even tried to get an underhook. Came over top, hit him with the elbow, dropping him, man. I think he broke his orbital with that elbow. So his timing with his head kick. I mean, to be able to throw a left hand, right? Not only that, but to bring that left leg up directly behind it, knowing his opponent's gonna over-exaggerate that parry, Boom, head kick. Ooh. So his timing is just an A plus. Next up, variety of technique. When I'm talking about variety of technique, I'm talking, you know, the skills to be able to throw spin kicks, switch sides, more weapons in your arsenal when you do so. To be able to throw techniques from awkward angles and weird angles. And when I think about Leon Edwards, when I watch him, he isn't that guy right? He's not the type of guy to throw the spinning hook kicks or the techniques that come from down low. He's actually got really good Muay Thai stance and good basic boxing skills. I believe that it's his timing that makes him so good at throwing those basic techniques. He likes to throw the right hook left hand, the jab cross, the left leg back kick to the body or even to the head. But He's so honed in on those skills that he's just, like he doesn't need the variety, the crazy variety to make his techniques effective or to be champ, because he's champ right now. So everything he throws is fairly basic. Boom, boom, one, two, right hook, left hand. But what he is so good at as well is his elbows on the inside, which kind of reminds me of John Jones. He was elbowing everybody from that clinch position. Let's go with the good old B plus. His variety, I think, could be a lot better. All right, now I'm saying that because uh, he's not a style bender. He's not a Michael Pajera, you know what I'm saying? He throws very basic, but he's so good at those basic techniques, he's champ. Moving on to distance management. <sighs> Amazing. There's a few things I look at. His long range skills, boxing range skills, and of course his close range technique. And all of those are very, very good. Now he's not a type of fighter like myself and a few others out there in that fight game who keep a really long distance, right? He likes to keep right at his range, right at the end of his striking range. He's got fairly long arms, you know, longer than most in the division. So he's really good at keeping guys right at bay. And he's so quick at his shuffle movement that he can get in, pop, pop, pop and back out or his ability to be able to see his opponent come forward and throws that left hand. So his long range techniques, very, very good. Now his boxing range, very good as well. He's got very good boxing skills. So he's able to move his head, counter his opponent, block, and get right back out in range. So he doesn't mind staying in the pocket with his opponent because he does fairly well there, especially when he gets his opponent up against the fence. He stays on his opponent. When he fought Vicente Luque, he did the same thing. Body kick, body kick. You saw Vicente Luque start to slow down. He backed him up against the cage and bop, 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 bop. And of course, which I think he's best at, close range. What we mentioned before, he loves to meet his guy, his opponent in the middle. He draws his opponent in and sometimes he'll close the gap and he always keeps his elbows in, always inside control. If you're an MMA fighter, kickboxer, Muay Thai fighter, always in inside control. Same thing with Jiu Jitsu. It's kind of all the same. If you're on the outside, not good. 
inside control way better. He can kind of feel when his opponent is trying to dig those underhooks. He can feel when his opponent is either backing out or wants to stay in close or move to the right. And he's got his elbow, especially that left elbow. That elbow is always there. So he loves that close range. And if it doesn't go his way, right? If he doesn't feel like the elbow is there, he doesn't mind shuffling, taking a half a step back and hitting his opponent with that left hand. So I would say his clinch work and his distance management is definitely an A plus, which is what makes him so good. Able to read his opponent when they're coming forward, He's able to keep his opponent at bay in his striking range and close the gap when he wants to. Let me know what you guys think about my man Leon Edwards' striking ability. My man Leon is always underestimated. The all said I couldn't do it. Look at me now. I cannot wait to see what happens this Saturday. Let me know in the comments down below who you think is going to win, Leon Edwards or Kamara Usman going down this Saturday, and can he put that left leg upside his head one more time to keep and stay champ. Hit that subscribe button, and of course, hit that like button and turn on all notifications so you guys know when our next upload is. Love y'all. Peace.